Hi, welcome to this video where we are going to talk about the different connections on a multi-winding transformer uh, and how we get a couple of the different ratings. So we're going to focus really on the, the voltage and the current, but let's take these two transformers and I'm going to do one as a series connection and one as a parallel connection and we'll kind of talk about them. Now either can be used as a step up or a step down and you can do a series on the top and a parallel on the bottom or a parallel on the top or a series, like whatever configuration you want to set these up in. We'll just talk about kind of the different configurations that are possible. So these transformers here, uh, these are one KVA per transformer and they are uh, a, what would they be? They would be a 240 slash 480 to 120 slash 240. Now what does that mean? Well, that means my H winding, my high voltage winding, can be set up as either a 240 or a 480. So, let's say what that means is that each winding is good for 240 volts. 240 volts. Now, same over here. Each winding is good for 240 volts. 240 volts. Awesome. Now I have an option. I can connect that up in either a series connection or a parallel connection. So what do I mean by that? Well, if I take my jumper and I connect those two in series and I go up like that. With those in series, right, we know that voltages would add up. So this would actually be a series connection. So that would actually be good for 480 volts on that side. Primary or secondary, I don't care. 480 volts if those two windings are in series. What if I connect them in parallel? Right, I put my evens in parallel, my odds in parallel. Now, those two windings have essentially been connected in parallel with one another, meaning it would only be good for 240 volts, but it would actually be a higher current. Now, where you would figure out the current rating for that is, of course, by taking my 1000 VA, if I divide it by 480, that's going to give me my current flowing through this series connection. So that would probably be uh, 1000 divided by 480, that'd be about like 2.16 volts flowing through in series through the whole thing, through each winding. Well, over here, I would go 1000 VA divided by 240 volts. That's going to give me about 4. 0.16 amps. Sorry, this would be 2.08 amps. Amps, not volts, too. Oh, that was rough. 2.08. However, keep in mind, as soon as it hits this point, H1, it's going to split, and I'm actually only going to have 2.08 inside each terminal, right? Or through each winding. So the winding is still only seeing 240, 2.08 but the actual whole transformer can do 4.16 amps at 240 volts. Kind of interesting, right? You gotta remember Kirchhoff's current law, that current is gonna split. So each winding is still seeing the same voltage and the same current rating. So that's what's cool about multi-winding transformers. Let's do the same thing on the X side, the low voltage side. It says we're 120, 240 volts on that low voltage side. That means each winding is rated for 120 volts. Awesome. So if I were to connect that in uh, series, just like that, those voltages would add up. 120 plus 120 would give me 240 volts, meaning I could connect it to a 240 volt source or a 240 volt load, depending on whether I'm doing a step up or a step down, right? Realistically, I could even do 240 in on the H, 240 out on the X, and actually use this as an isolation transformer. So kind of cool application there as well. Now over here, if I were to connect them in parallel, X2 to X4, 
x3 to x1, just like that, right? My odds and my evens together. Now, two windings in parallel, both would be good for 120 volts now, either a load or a source. That's awesome. Very, very cool. What does that mean for current though? Okay, well here I've got 1000 VA, 240 volts. That would give me 4.16 amps. And that would of course, because it's series, 4.16 would flow through each winding. So the windings rated for 240 volts, 4.16 amps. Over here, 1000 kVA or 1000 VA divided by 120. That's going to give me 8.3 amps. Crazy, that's more. But remember, as soon as it hits this point, it's actually going to split into two. I'm going to have 4.16 amps go through this winding and 4.16 amps go through this winding. So the winding is actually rated for 120 volts, 4.16 amps. Which if you're thinking about that math in your head, 120 volts, 4.16 amps, multiply them together, that gives me 500 VA. So each half of the transformer, each winding set is actually only good for 500 VA. The reason we get that one kVA or 1000 volt amps is because we're combining them. Whether it be in series or parallel, when I combine those windings, the VA adds up directly. Um, so yeah, that was a bunch of information, a bunch of numbers to you really, really fast about the actual uh, windings of the transformer and how those ratings add up, whether I connect them in series or whether I connect them in parallel. Now keep in mind, I could be series on the H, parallel on the X. It doesn't matter how I connect them up, whether I'm step up, step down, those would be the winding ratings of my transformer. And I'd probably only be given the, this information, right? My total KVA and then my voltage. I'd have to do the math to figure out what each individual winding and what the single half VA would be good for. But yeah, thanks so much for watching. Please check out some of these other videos that could be really helpful to you. And if you haven't already, just subscribe to the channel. That would be great. Thank you so much for watching and you have yourself a very, very good day.